Chris Paul Trophy. And what would be probably his best win of the season. They did beat Texas A&M. But this is a top 15 Michigan team that has nine wins. Beat Notre Dame, beat Iowa. Of course, Alabama playing today without its best player. Two to talk by law, but man, quarterback yeah, Mac Jones. Done an excellent job. And pop it up in the air, and it's fair caught at the 34. So that's going to give Michigan a pretty good field position. I want to go back to this touchdown. It's just such great design. It's play action. They have hit Najee Harris on this route, the wheel route, multiple times this year. Clearly, Michigan is prepared for it. So you see two defenders chase Najee Harris. They weren't even looking at the tight end. <laughs> but next thing you know, you slip out Miller Forrestal there into the seam area. And he is completely unaccounted for, even though there were enough defenders there to take away both targets. Just a beautiful design and great execution. Oh, yeah, I'll put it on my channel. Yeah, on my Michigan channel. Goes back to the ground game on first down as Lee stands up. Haskins, let's check him with John in the studio. Jim, it's been a good battle this afternoon, the Outback Bowl between Minnesota and Auburn. Tanner Morgan hooking up with Tyler Johnson, 74 yards mm. on the touchdown catch. His second touchdown Burning his ass. Minnesota, 31-24, under five minutes to go on ESPN. Yeah, that would be a great win for Minnesota. Auburn, of course, knocked off Alabama in the Iron Bowl. Second and six for Michigan. Patterson off play action. Throws complete. Mm. And Nico Collins is out near midfield. So it's a first down for the Wolverines as we near the nine-minute mark. A gain of 11 on the play. Obviously, Michigan doesn't need to get into hyperspeed just yet. It is a multi-score game, so you got to be cognizant of the clock. See him start to spread a little, little tempo, but not going high octane just yet. But again, their issue, as Tom mentioned earlier, is once I, you know, they get inside the 35-yard line, and all of a sudden, they start having negative plays. They've been able to move the ball in Alabama. It's just finishing drives that's been the issue. Davis with pressure. Patterson on the run. And it's incomplete through the hands of Collins. Would have had positive yardage if he made the catch. You know, Greg, I'm a little surprised uh, with the run game being so down. successful for Michigan in the first half. They haven't committed to it as much in the second half, but when they've done Stop it, my damn brother Keys over here. The defense for Alabama has been worried about. They've been very, very successful. I'm a little surprised that they haven't taken more advantage of forcing Alabama to have to, you know, account for that extra gap that the quarterback creates by running the football. There haven't been many opportunities so far. For Shea Patterson to really contribute with his legs. They got 162 he yards on the ground. More of a spread pass happy look. On the run and going down to the ground is Haskins, thrown down by Christian Harris, who's made a couple plays in Michigan's backfield today. And a great job here by the backside linebacker, Christian Harris, just working through some traffic on the inside, reading out UC Eubanks, tight end number 82, trying to save a life. However, the talented freshman is going to be an absolute superstar in time. Makes the play in the backfield to set up a third and long. Is Michigan in four down territory? Third and 11, nearing eight minutes to go. We'll see what kind of a play call we get from Gaddis. First time play caller. He was the wide receivers coach at Alabama last year. The co offensive coordinator. Hard away by Jim Harbaugh. Patterson's going to take a shot here on third and long, and again, it's overthrown. Going for Saner still, but he's been long on just about every deep ball today. And it's fourth and 11. I think he got a punt now. They didn't get anything on third down, and they will kick it. Just at some point, Shea Patterson has to make that adjustment. I mean, I've counted five different examples today where he's overthrown deep balls. And not just by a little bit, by a yard or two. Yeah. We're talking five or six yards in most cases. And he's got big physical jump ball built by receivers. you got to use the receiver's length to your own advantage, and he hasn't done that because he's overthrown them on so many different occasions. Nick Saban might lose another headset. He just was jumping up and down as Alabama had 12 men on the field. Ah, oh, they had 12 men on the field again. That's <laughs> how they lost the Auburn game. Damn.